Damn. Hey guys, long time no see. I know it's a different background, it's better lighting. Life has been going on. I'm not gonna even make up any excuses of why I've been gone. To be honest, I haven't been putting in the time. That's my fault. Um, <clears throat> I know I always come back and say I'm gonna make some videos and things of that nature, but it's time to start prioritizing really like what it is that I wanna do. So, as you can see from the title of this video, it's not a couponing video. I'm still couponing here and there, to be honest. I haven't been to CVS, Walgreens, or anything like that in a long time. I still do couponing deals, like online couponing deals, like if something is like a great sale or something like that. But other than that, I have not been couponing. I'm moving at the end of January, early February. I don't really want to continue to build up and have a lot of products and things of that nature. And I'm moving and toting it and things like that. So... Um, I spoke briefly on this before um, regarding my eBay journey and my journey to full-time reseller. Um, I now have a Instagram. I will link that below. Um, and this is something that I really love to do. I've always loved thrifting. I used to go thrifting with my grandmother years, years ago when I was a really young girl. Um, I still love couponing, saving money, and going to do the store, saving money. Why not resell it? I'm a hustler. Yo, it's hustle season. Do you hear me? Like, I'm telling you, this is my favorite sweatshirt. I just bought this and it was on sale. See, I'm still, yeah, I'm still saving money. It might not be with physical coupons, but I'm still saving money online whenever it's closed or anything. So, but yeah, this is my journey to full-time eBay. Um, reseller, I still have my business, the catering business, The Right Bite. I don't know if I told you all the name of that. And I still have my full-time job, but my goal is to replace my full-time income with eBay and my the right by business my catering business so and it, it's gonna happen um law of attraction I think I had a, my last video was actually about that so write it down make it happen but enough of me rambling I just want to say hey to you all so let's just get into this haul I have two huge bags from Village Store oh okay <laughs> really great items um I'm gonna be honest when I first started selling on eBay, I was just buying different brands, really not really caring about how much I'm spending, profit, margin, all that type of stuff. But now I am official. I have an LLC. This is a real life business for me. Um, I'm trying to figure out which, um, I guess you can say, um, program I'm going to use to actually keep track of my books. Right now I'm doing Excel. I thought about doing QuickBooks. I know they still have a Black Friday sale going on. For I believe it's like $25 a month for like the premium. But I don't know if I need the premium. I don't have any employees. So I might do the one next to the premium. Which I think is like $17 a month. This will help me keep track of certain things. Because I still have two other businesses. Or so whatever can kind of take the load off of me. I think that's what I'm going to do. But anyway. Enough about that. Let's get into this haul. I have two huge bags. From Village Store. Okay. <laughs> really great items. Um, I'm going to be honest. When I first started selling on eBay, I was just buying different brands. Really not really caring about how much I'm spending, profit, margin, all that type of stuff. But now I am official. I have an LLC. This is a real life business for me. Um, I'm trying to figure out which, um, I guess you can say, um, program I'm going to use to actually keep track of my books right now I'm doing Excel I thought about doing QuickBooks I know they still have a Black Friday sale going on for I believe it's like $25 a month for like the premium but I don't know if I need the premium I don't have any employees so I might do the one next to the premium which I think is like $17 a month this will help me keep track of certain things because I still have two other businesses or so whatever can kind of take the load off of me I think that's what I'm going to do but anyway enough about that let's get into this haul this haul I spent about $154 and what made it even better is this thrift store had a deal where you could get a $60 gift card for $50. So I actually bought three of them because my mother, she added some stuff to the cart too. But I ended up saving $30 because I bought a $60 gift card for $50. That's $10 right there and I bought three of them. So again, I'm still saving money. So let's get to this haul. And this is 50% off um, today. So I purchased this chaps petite no iron extra large shirt 
And I'm realizing that ugly shirts sell. I had this Robert Graham sell for me about a month and a half ago. It was ugly in my opinion, but it's so ugly shirts sell because people love this loud print and it's really colorful and things like that. So this was $5. The next item I purchased was a Chaps, again, but it's a purple knit sweater. I think this is really nice. Extra large. And this was $4.50. This is a Banana Republic size four. And this was five dollars, and I love these type of career shirts because everybody is always looking for career shirts. If you're in like the professional field, really nice. I love the detailing on the buttons, and this is in really really great condition. This thrift store is called Village Thrift. It's not Value Village, um, Value Village Thrift because I know a lot of people go there, and I used to go there a lot too. But not gonna lie. We used to go years, years ago with my grandmother. They up their prices too much for me. Like way, 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 way too much for me. So I no longer go there, even with their sale prices. To be honest, their sale prices is are these prices before half off. Get what I'm saying? Too much. And this is the next purchase that I bought was this Ann Taylor Loft. And it's 100% silk, dry clean only. And this was only $4.50. And this is really nice. And it's really soft i didn't even know it was silk until i got to the register and was just i always look over my clothes like two times and then the register like the last final time just to make sure i didn't miss anything that had like a spot or anything but this is a really nice sweater long sleeve really nice stuff so, with the turtleneck and you know it's that time of season right now even though here in the dmv the weather is crazy because one day i want to be cold the next day i want to be like 70 like come on get it together this the next purchase I bought was this Kirkland Signature V-neck gray sweater, new with tags. This was only $3.50. Looked up the comps on this, and they sold for about $15 or so. But I think that's pretty good. Um, that's another lesson that I've learned from reselling is you don't have to get a $20 profit if you don't want to. Like the items that I'm buying, I might just get like a $5, $10 profit, but I'm fine with that because I'm still kind of new at this. I want to build up my inventory, so I don't mind purchasing items where I could just make $5, $10, $15 on. Eventually, I'll get to the $20 or $30 you know, margin, but right now, I'm cool with this. The next top I purchased, and these are all women's clothing. Um, I've had a few men's clothing before, and I still think I have some in my inventory, but I'm primarily just selling women's clothing. Just my own personal preference this is another chaps this is a denim top and i love it it's casual but it's cute i'm gonna show you the detailing this is size medium and it was only three dollars but i like this top if you see it's casual it's quarter sleeve but i love this detailing like the tie i think that's really cute Another career top. I love these, especially these like wrinkle resistance. L.L. Beam has been doing really well for me. This is a wrinkle resistant L.L. Beam extra large. This is only $5. I love these. These are like, oh my gosh, you could tell it's like wrinkle resistant because it's like perfectly pressed. I absolutely love these type of tops. These have been doing really well for me. Really, really well. Next top I purchased were this, it's the Banana Republic soft wash shirt, extra small. This was $5. Plaid is always in, you know, really cute. This is full, you know, perfect time of weather for this type of top. I absolutely love fall. It's my favorite season now. It used to be summer, but a couple summers ago, it was way too hot, too many bugs. And I was like, mm -mm, this is not for me. I'm born in the summer, August baby Leo, but fall is my favorite because you could wear stuff like this outside the sweatshirt and still be comfortable so yeah next top is really really pretty it is a do i got it upside down oh yeah 
<laughs> this is a Banana Republic size small and this was $6. But this is such a cute top. Like look at the detailing. The buttons, the sleeves, it's like the elastic. Um, the elastic sleeve and the buttons are really, really nice. This is a really pretty top. Really, really, really pretty top. This is a really pretty top too. The lady at the register was like, well, how long were you in here? Cause you got some really nice stuff. I'm like, I know I've gotten better at this. This is a New York and company size small. This was 450, really pretty, 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 pretty top. And a lot of these clothes don't even seem like it's been worn. I try to buy things that look like new or new and sometimes used as well. But, um, a lot of these clothing at this thrift store, it's gotten way better, I could say, over the past year. And this looks brand new. It doesn't even look like it's been worn at all. Like, I'm doing look, it, looking over it, and it doesn't, it doesn't have much of any wear. And I love the elastic, like, bottom. So it kind of, like, cinching your waist, you know. Team no waist. So, yeah. I purchased this Ann Taylor Petite. This is size six and this was $4.50. Really cute casual top, kind of sheer, striped polka dots, kind of. Really pretty. Really pretty top. Another one of these type of like um, career tops. This is a Brooks Brothers size medium or cotton striped career top and this is a woman's shirt again these wrinkle resistant it's not even wrinkle resistant but it looks wrinkle resistant because it's so it looks so pressed really nice career professional woman's top but the women who are in the corporate america the next top i purchased was this antella law of size four and this was for 50. This is a really pretty top. It's sheer, but I love the detailing with the V-neck. And it has a tie in the front. Or in the back. And I think this is really pretty. You could wear like a camisole um, underneath that. So this next top that I purchased was this Eddie Bowers 2XL. And I paid $5.54. It's new with tags. It kind of has like that fringy type of look quarter sleeve really casual almost done with this bag y'all next top new with tags and tailor size small again this time of year just like a pullover sweater really cute i forgot the name of this print it's at the tip of my tongue but i totally forgot the name now, this is something never heard of, but it was new with Taz. I looked it up. The comp seemed pretty decent. Um, and this is in really, really great condition. This is a Bob Mackie Wearable Art 2XL. This was only $5. New with tag type of, I don't know if this is like a jacket shirt. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just the material. But it's really, really nice. It has some nice detailing, even on the sleeves, as you can see. Really, really nice. So, we're done with the first bag. Let's get on to the second bag. Okay, so on to the second bag. Now, I've seen this brand. I've followed a lot of people who are full-time resellers on eBay, Posh, Mark McCarry, Amazon, on Instagram, and I've never found an Eileen Fisher piece. This was not on sale, but it was only $9, extra large, and new with tags. But I definitely had to pick that up. So, I was excited when I seen this piece. Never seen her pieces in this area ever and this is called it's crushed silk uh dupiani i guess pressed to create texture dry clean Eileen Fitcher, and the original price for this is 238 dollars and i put this up for nine dollars can you say still i'm excited about this piece next piece that i've purchased is this Talbot's petite size small really cute casual just a knit sweater really pretty baby pink you know it's football season I'm not a Packers fan my team is not doing good but 
you know, neither near here nor there. But I've seen this and I'm like, football season? Okay, and it's actually like the NFL actual um, tag. Dang, I can't even speak today. But I thought this was really cute. A Packers cardigan sweater, size medium, and this was only $5. I thought this was really cute. Really, really great condition, too. This is a nice dress. This is the limited size medium. Paid a little up for this. This was $7.50. But I thought this was a really nice career type of dress. Really great condition. I love the type of material where it's kind of like stretchy. And you know, the color black. Really cute. Really nice. Really, really like this. Really great condition. Really, really great condition. I got this Calvin Klein extra small, kind of paid up for this as well. This is a sweater dress and um, I paid $7.50, but I thought this was really cute. Sleeve, short sleeve. Let me stand up so you can see. And it actually has these if you want to, you know, put a belt around it. Really think, you know, that's really nice for this season. Another purchase was Talbots. As you can see, I bought a lot of Talbots and Ann Taylor Petite. And this was $5. And this was really great condition. Doesn't even look like it's been worn. Really cute cardigan. Really, really, really cute cardigan. Really cute. This is a Ann Taylor Lost <laughs> Small. This was $4.50. Another cardigan. Really cute stripe but it's different types of stripes you see like it has kind of like the thin stripes then it goes down to like the thicker stripes but this is really cute really really cute last but not least Talbot's petite this is hand knit size small I paid $4.54 I thought this was really cute I absolutely I don't know if my camera is going to focus but I love the detailing in this really 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 cute really cute Excuse the dogs, my next door neighbors. Mm, sorry about that. So, that's it for this haul. You'll, now, you will be seeing a lot of eBay um, shopping type hauls because I'm only doing eBay for right now. Um, trying to, you know, get used to this platform because I will, speaking into existence, I will replace my income with eBay and my side business for the right bite. And I'll be able to leave my job before my birthday of next year. That is my goal. My birthday is in August. So I will be able to do that. So I hope you all enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you're into reselling as well. We can share ideas with each other. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Long time no see, but I'm glad to be back. Have a great day.